Hello Helpful Programmer here and in this tutorial we'll be adding the ball to our Pong game. First off let's open up our Pong project and go to our ball.h. Here we're going to add all the functions that we're going to use with the ball. First off in the public section declare the function int movement open close parentheses into a semicolon int collision open close parentheses into a semicolon int reset and int goal check in the movement it's quite self explanatory all the code for the ball's movement will be in there all the collision will be in here um, to reset the ball will be in the reset function and to check if a goal has been scored we'll go in the goal check function ok now going to ball.cpp Let's first off declare the ball ID. So define ball ID and let's see what we reserved for our ball ID. Okay, so going into our main.cpp you can see that we made a little comment saying ball will be sprite ID of four. Okay, so going back to ball.cpp, just put four. Okay, now let's create our reset function. This will work in two ways, resetting the ball after a goal has been scored and the ball has been deleted and at the start of the game where you press spacebar to start off. So let's put ball, two colons and then reset. Open close parentheses and do two braces. Inside just make sure we put the return as this is an int function. So return zero. Okay so in here we want to see if the spacebar is being pressed and the ball is deleted. If the ball's already in play and um, it hasn't been deleted then it'll just spawn another ball. It'll look a bit messy so we have to do an if statement with two conditions. First one being if the spacebar is being pressed so db space key um, it's called space key to fit in line with everything else like control key, end key, that's why it's not called bar. Okay, so db space key, open close parentheses equals 1, and so two and symbols, and db sprite exists, and this function will check if the sprites exists, um, and then in here we put the id that we want to test which is 4 or we can use our ball id so see if the ball id exists equals to 0 because we don't want it to exist for the if statement to be true two braces and then in here we want to put db sprite open parentheses and in here put ball id because that's the ID we want to use and then a comma and then we want it to appear somewhere around here through testing I found out that this coordinate is 400 240 because it's half 480 which is 240 and slightly past the halfway mark of the width so 400 so let's go back into our project and type that in 400 240, comma, and then the image ID, going back to our main, we can see that we've used 3 as our image ID for ball. So put 3, close the parentheses and do a semicolon. Next off we want to change the rotational pivot of our sprites using the function db offset sprite open parentheses and put in our ball id so ball id comma and then we want to do halfway across the ball's width and halfway across the ball's height so opening up our folder for our project which can be found at visual studios 2008 projects and what we called it, so Pong click on that click on that and there's our ball so let's go down to properties 
and it will have the width in the details so we know it's 20 pixels across and 20 pixels in height so let's half that so 10 and 10 we're doing this so when the ball rotates it won't rotate on the top left hand corner we're shifting it to the middle of the ball next function is db rotate sprite open parentheses and we want it to face player 1 which is that direction and that direction in degrees is 270 so let's put in ball id comma 270 close parentheses and do a semicolon ok now that we've created our reset function let's go to main.cpp go to just where we created the classes of player 1 and player 2 put ball ball for the same reason as the others and put in the while loop ball dot and reset close parentheses and do a semicolon and compile it now you'll see our two paddles which can be moved with the keys and when we press spacebar it creates the ball now let's put movement into our ball closing the executable going to ball.cpp and just under reset let's create the function movement so int ball two colons and movement put two braces and return zero in here it's going to be a small function literally just moving the ball so let's check that the ball exists um, with the same if statement as in reset so if db sprite exists open parentheses ball id close parentheses equals to true because we want to see if the ball exists to be able to move it and then in this if statement put db move sprite and then this way you can decide how fast you want the ball to move for me I want it to move at a rate of 7 pixels so comma 7 close parentheses and do a semicolon going into our main.cpp let's put it beside the ball.reset so ball.movement open close parentheses and do a semicolon now let's go and run it ok now you'll see with our paddles and when we press spacebar the ball will move there we go and the ball is moved and it's shot off the screen hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you have learned a lot bye